Awesome Adelaide upset Jeju in ACL. Adelaide United needed to avoid defeat to have any chance of progressing past the group stage of the AFC Champions League and they accomplished that feat in style, defeating Jeju United 3-1 in Korea. United got off to the perfect start, breaking the deadlock in the seventh minute with a bullet of a strike from Kim Jae-sung, against his former club. However, the lead lasted just a minute with Magno Cruz equalising for the home side with a towering header. Not to be denied, the Reds restored their lead when Dylan McGowan nodded home from a corner on 49 minutes before teenage midfielder Riley Mgri rounded out the scoring on 65 minutes. The win moved Adelaide above Jeju in Group H courtesy of a better head-to-head -head record. Both sides have four points. Group leader Jiang Sasuning, nine points, and Gamba Osaka, three points, are in action in the group's other match day for encounter. The goals flowed early in Jeju with Sergio Sirio capitalizing on a defensive error. When his shot cannoned back off the upright the rebound found its way to Korean Kim and his first-time striker from 20 metres found the net for his first goal in a Reds shirt. The A-League side's joy was short-lived when Lee Chang-min collected the ball at the byline and looped across to the back post where Magno Cruz outjumped Ben Garasho to nod his header past Eugene Golikovic. Jeju dominated the rest of the half and carved out chance after chance but a combination of sloppy passing and desperate Reds defending kept the score level. The final few minutes of the first half saw both sides enjoy clear chances to take the lead with Mendy directing his header just past the post before Adelaide almost scored. Sirio's corner was met by McGowan whose header forced a strong save from Jeju keeper Lee Chang Jun. Sirio reacted quickest and immediately cut the ball back into the penalty area for Taylor Regan but he too was denied by Chang Jun who again was equal to the task, keeping out the close-range strike. Jeju burst out of the interval and attacked immediately from the restart but it would be the Reds who would find the net four minutes into the second half. McGowan out jumped two defenders to powerfully head home a deep corner from Garasho, with the goalkeeper in no man's land. Minutes later Jeju wasted another chance when substitute Jin Sung UK blasted wide from 10 metres with the Reds defence scrambling to thwart the attack. Adelaide extended their advantage in impressive fashion with a well-crafted third goal, started and finished by Mgri. He linked with Baba Diara on the edge of the area, who then fed Kim who cut the ball back from Mgri whose initial attempt was saved. Mgri then scooped the ball into the net while laying on the deck. Golokovic kept the score at 3-1 with a stunning reflex save late on, denying Sung UK from 2 metres. The Reds' custodian was called into action numerous times in the final minutes as Jeju peppered Adelaide's goal looking to salvage a result, the result.